You either love her or you can't stand her, but you're certainly not ignoring her. She's more divisive than slavery was back in the day, <laughs> tearing apart families, offices, maybe even the country itself. She is vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin. But is there a way to discuss this self-described hockey mom without ending up in the penalty box? Joining me now is relationship expert and author of don't bet on the prince and how to win when your mate cheats, Dr. Gilda Carl. Dr. Gilda, thanks for joining me. My pleasure, Mo. So what is it about this woman that's getting us so worked up? Well, she's new, she's fresh, she's a brand new face. I mean, we've been looking at Hillary Clinton for so many years, and this is someone who is totally different, and we know nothing about her personality, which means that that which is so mysterious draws our attention. Well, we've got video of three typical conversations about Governor Sarah Palin. We're going to watch them and talk about what's going on in these conversations. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Let's start with a date. She is just the devil. The devil! You know, I mean, all that, like, you know, family values nonsense. And in the meantime, she's getting in bed with big oil and she's telling us how to live our lives. What? No, nothing. You like her, don't you? Yes, I do. How could you? Oh, does he think she's hot? Actually, it's because she fights corruption. What? Yeah, even in the wilderness of Alaska, she is fighting corruption every day. The Alaska? Oh, who are you? You, oh, God, you are not the person I thought you were. There was nothing on your Facebook page about this. So what's, oh, ha boy. what's happening here? I wonder if this is a first date. Didn't anybody ever tell them that on dates, especially when you don't know the person, you don't discuss religion or politics? You think that the woman here is in the wrong in the way that she's approaching the Sarah Palin topic. <laughs> Anybody who wants love doesn't come across as though she is, she, her view is the only view, and she's going to eat this man alive. How could she have expressed her disapproval of Sarah Palin on this first date? Just by simply saying, are you a fan of Sarah? I, I don't like her all that much. Period. And then he could have said... And he would have had an, a safe opportunity to respond. And we know for a fact that he also has a thing for Harriet Myers. I don't remember hearing that. It, we just know that. It's part of the backstory. Okay, it's okay. Our next scenario involves a mother and daughter. Boy, oh boy, Sarah Palin, huh? She's really something. Family, career, it's really wild. That little one's so cute. She's really got it all. I wasn't ready to have a baby mom. Did you really want a biracial? Haitian grandchild? Of course I didn't, Emily. But it's better than nothing. Whoa. Oh. That's heavy wow. stuff. What's happening there? Well, I, I, w I would look at that and say post traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. It's things that have never been dealt with in right. the open just came out in the open because of Sarah, of Sarah Palin. Palin. Uh, now you say thanks to Sarah Palin, but is this an improper use of Sarah Palin in a discussion? Whoever offers the impetus for mothers and daughters and husbands and wives and everybody else out there to be in discussion, I think there's no negativity to that. So basically your feeling is Sarah Palin is a useful communications tool, but it shouldn't be used like a hammer. Exactly. A tool is one thing, but if you hammer somebody over the head with your views, where are you? Well, so we should clarify, a, a hammer is a tool. Okay. All right. Let's but, start. Okay. No, just to clarify. Okay. If, if you hammer somebody with your feelings, with your political agenda, then where is that relationship going? So Sarah Palin is a communications tool that should be used with a love tap. Well put. Let's now take a look at our third scenario. These are two buddies. Okay. 
Glasses on. She's definitely hotter with her glasses on. No, she's hotter with her glasses off. Oh, man, that's ridiculous. Uh, she's got the whole nerdy, naughty librarian thing going on. That's over. When do you get inside when something's over? I just did. Oh, man, get over yourself. Get over yourself. Glasses on. Glasses off. Glasses on. Glasses off. Glasses on. Glasses off. 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 So what do you think, Dr. Gilda? I think they're going to be just fine. Well, Dr. Gilda, I want to thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> My pleasure. And let's hope that we can talk about Sarah Palin without, without killing screaming. each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming too. I, I thought you were going to say I, mean, I, I thought you were going to say.